It's that time of the week again. Hello and welcome to another The Church at Erythe. Seven days on from Easter Sunday. But the good news is that Jesus is still alive. The Bible tells us that he's the same yesterday, today and forever. He knows our past, our present and our future. Enjoy today's service. As we've been doing over the last few weeks, we're just going to, to break up the song we're going to sing now. We sing the first part now and the second part later. It's called You're the Lion of Judah and it follows on from the Easter theme. <laughs> chapter 8 we read that at dawn Jesus appeared again in the temple courts where all the people gathered around him and he sat down to teach them the teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery they made her stand before the group and said to Jesus teacher this woman was caught in the act of adultery in the law Moses commanded us to stone such women now what do you say they were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him but Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger when they kept on questioning him he straightened up and said to them if any one of you is without sin let him be the first to throw a stone at her again he stooped down and wrote on the ground at this those who heard began to go away one at a time the older ones first until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. When I was a child, we used to play a game and we used to knock people's doors and run away on the estate where I lived. And it was great fun as a child. And you would knock lots of people's doors. They would come, they would open, they would look around, they would either see or hear laughing children running away they'd close and go back inside. But there were one or two people who when you knocked their door and ran away, they would chase you. And it was great fun as a child to be chased by someone that you'd just knocked their door. And what we used to do is when we played the game, we would always go to the house that got the reaction. If it was someone who didn't chase us, in the end, we gave up, it wasn't fun. But when you got chased by someone, that was the door that you kept going to. In the passage of scripture that I just read, it tells us that they were looking for a reaction from Jesus. They didn't get one, or at least not the reaction that they wanted. When they questioned him and put the law of Moses to him, knowing what the answer was, he just bent down and started to write in the dust of the earth. And he said to them, because he knew that what they were saying was correct, the law of Moses stood. And he said to them, well, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And one by one, they began to drift away. They were looking for a reaction. They got one, but not the reaction that they wanted. I think it's so important in life that we don't give some people the reaction that they want. 
There are people who will say things and do things to antagonize us. They know exactly what they're doing and they know exactly what reaction they want to get from us. I think it's so important that we don't allow those people to get the reaction that they want. And that passage of scripture where Jesus dealt with what they said, but not in the way that they wanted him to, is a perfect example. Don't be the one that gives the reaction whereby people will keep coming back because they like to see the reaction that they get. Be the one that opens the door and closes it again, not the one that opens it and chases people. Back to the illustration of when I was a child. How we react to circumstances and situations in life is so important. React in the right way. again next week let's close today with the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen